jungle, especially where we are in Malaysia, can be a killer. Every meter, every step could be potentially life-threatening. This, this is definitely one of the most dangerous expeditions I've been on. The environment is one of the most inhospitable known to man and machine. The conditions we're in, height of the monsoon, very, very heavy rain, torrential rain, like you probably have never experienced before. Thunderstorms, exposed to lightning strikes, flash floods, very high heat, very, very high humidity. You've got the wildlife, you've got the insects, you've got the disease. Um, any slight cut could become infectious within a matter of a few hours. Trying to move three-ton vehicles through these conditions. Once they get going, they don't want to stop easily. If you're in the way, you'll get crushed. The winch cable snaps under the type of tension they're under and it whips around. Somebody's in that danger area, it could literally cut a man in half. Deadfall is one of the most dangerous things that we're going to come across on this expedition and it's because it's a killer. We can't see how the branches are formed up above us and if they're dead, all it takes is a little bit of wind and they can drop down on our position. Huge branches that have sort of collapsed into the canopy could then over the years be rotting away and they could collapse down. So there's every chance that um, we're going to come across um, you know, fallen trees. We'll have to get the chainsaws out and then cut our path through to be able to continue on our way. It just amazes me how drained I am after being a few days there. And uh, it must be hard life for people who actually live there. The parang or the, the machete, the jungle machete, is the most important bit of kit. If you were left in the jungle with nothing else, this would be the one piece of kit that you would want to have with you. It's just indispensable. You shouldn't ever be without this. The grab bag is an essential bit of kit. We've got some sunblock and some hand sanitizer, a whistle, fishing kit and snares, anti-malarials, a water purifier, about 10 meters of cord, mosquito repellent, head torch, absolutely essential. We've got some safety lights. That is a shelter, GPS. We've got some emergency rations here. If you're lost with this bag, you can survive for 24, 48 hours, which is long enough for us to then find you. What we use is this Lifesaver jerry can. It's a filter. Um, it filters pretty much everything out of the water, 99.99% .99 of bacteria um, and various other parasites, which can cause us and the team an issue if we're deep in the jungle. So the only water we drink is water that's been filtered through this. And as you can see there, that is completely clear from what it was before. I'm probably gonna go find my way in Vietnam and Laos and Thailand after this on my own. So I'll apply whatever I've learned here, see what, see what I can get into, and see if maybe I'll camp out a bit, see how that goes.